There you go. All right. In any it's event, full screen. Uh, okay, I think we're ready to begin. Yeah. I'll let you know when yeah, no, I'm we're ready. at uh, uh, 10 to 3 in Brazil. So, um, so welcome, everyone. This is Edia Moraes from Unicamp telling us about Levitivity Ricci flat metrics on compact Hermitian via Einstein manifolds. That was a pretty long title for me to memorize. I have to, I have to give you that. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Ade. Uh, please go ahead. Okay, thank you, Enrique. So, I'd like to thank the organizers for inviting me. So, let's start. Uh, so before we get through the technical details, let me try to give a, a context for the talk. So. Uh, this talk is going to be about essentially Hermitian, about Hermitian geometry, right? So uh, it starts with uh, the work of Gray and others in 60s and 70s, right? And here I have included some generalities, which uh, usually we need to deal uh, when we are studying Hermitian manifolds, right? So here, uh, so typically when we are studying uh, Hermitian geometry, we need to deal with uh, several types of connections, and here uh, we have a couple of them. Uh, in this talk, we are uh, concerned with the Levitch-Vita connection and the Chern connection. And once we have uh, these several notions of connections, uh, we also have uh, several notions of curvatures, and, and in particular in the setting of non cater geometry, uh, Usually, you need to deal uh, with torsion and loss of symmetry for the, the curvature tensors. And in a broad sense, uh, as in the case of Riemannian manifolds, we want to study the geometry of these connections in terms of their curvatures properties. And in this talk, uh, I will uh, focus on a uh, special type of, of Hitch curvature. So, uh, on Hermitian manifolds, we have a lot of, the, of concepts of Hitch curvatures. And in this talk, I'm going to try to to talk a little bit about uh, two types. Uh, and just to mention, so we have a lot of applications of Hermitian geometry in other fields like theoretical physics. And typically in this setting, we have a demand for examples, right? Uh, now let me introduce the, the main problem. So uh, in 2017, uh, Liu Yang uh, showed that the first Levitch-Vita Hitch curvature uh, of a compact Hermitian manifold uh, represents the first April chern class of uh, the, the Hermitian manifold, right? And they also proved this result, which essentially, essentially gives a, a construction for uh, a construction of uh, uh, levitch vila hitch flat matrix on, on the Hopf manifold, and the construction uh, is done by a perturbation uh, on the canonical Hermitian matrix, which we have on the Hopf manifold in this way, right? And in general, we have the, this implication. If the first chern class of the manifold vanishes, it implies that the first April chern class also vanishes. So in this particular case, we have the vanishing of the, the first April chern class, and uh, from these uh, facts and this result, they propose this problem, uh, which uh, is about uh, the existence of levitch vita h flat matrix on Hermitian manifolds for which the first able chern class vanishes. So the, the problem is, is about this, the, existing of this type, the existence of this type of metric, right? And in Stalker, I would try to, to solve this problem, or at least to give uh, idea how to solve this problem for a particular class of manifold, which uh, is the title of the talk. Uh, the main result which I would like to cover is this one, and a uh, consequence of this result is this corollary, which essentially uh, gives a, a answer for the question for the particular class of compact Hermitian by Weinstein manifolds. And uh, this result also is interesting because it takes into, into account the, the Sasaki geometry, which, uh, which we have associated to uh, certain types of Hermitian manifolds, right? 
Um, so this result essentially uh, generalized the, the construction which uh, we have for Hopf manifold. And this talk is based on this paper. So here uh, I also studied uh, other applications of the ideas used to prove this main theorem. Okay, so let's start. Uh, here we have a plan for the talk. So I, I will start by introducing what is the notion of the Vita Hitch flat uh, equation. Uh, so I will introduce the notion of the Vita Hitch curvature and talk about the cohomological interpretation of this notion of curvature. And then I will uh, talk a little bit about the, what, what, it, what happens when we have a, a LCK manifold. So I will compute the, the Levici Vita Hitch curvature for, for the class of uh, LCK manifolds. And then I will uh, investigate what happens when the manifold is the uh, Hermitian uh, via Einstein manifold. So the idea here is to try to, to describe and understand what, what is this relation. So what, what is the relation between Hermitian via manifolds and uh, I'm sorry, Her Hermitian uh, via Einstein manifolds and Sasaki Einstein geometry, right? And then uh, I will compute the the, the Levici Vita Hitch curvature for this particular class, and from uh, from these uh, steps, uh, I will prove the the main theorem, and I will give some examples, which can be thought as applications of the the main theorem. So let's start introducing the notion of Levici Vita Hitch curvature. So here we have uh, some uh, generalities on Hermitian geometry. So it's the basic background. Uh, maybe uh, most of you uh, are familiarized with this. I would just like to, to talk uh, with a little bit um, with more details about the, the connections which uh, I am interested in the talk. So. Uh, I will be interested in the Levici Vita connection. So uh, I will denote the, by Nabla LC, the Levici Vita connection associated, associated to a Hermitian manifold. I will also be, uh, I will also uh, interest in the, the churn connection. And I, I will consider a third type of connection, which is obtained from the extension of the Levici Vita connection to the complexified tangent bundle. And this connection is constructed in this way. I, I, we, we take an extension of the Levici Vita connection and then we uh, compose with this projection, right? Defined this way. So from this, we have uh, a connection uh, obtained from the Levici Vita connection and we can compare this connection with the churn connection, right? So this connect, the, these three type of connections are characterized by the, the, the equations which I, I wrote here, right? And so I, I would denote by uh, capital theta the curvature associated to the churn connection, and by uh, this calligraphic capital R the, the, the curvature associated to the Nabla hedge connection. So in this paper, which I, I included here, uh, you can find a lot of a lot of types of uh, hedge curvatures, right? So we have the definition of a lot of type. A lot of type of H curvatures on Hermitian manifold, and the first part will be based essentially in this paper. So here we have the definition. So uh, the first uh, churn H curvature in the in the first and the first uh, Levici Vita H curvature of uh, of the Hermitian vector bundle, which we have associated to a Hermitian manifold, are defined respectively by the these two woman forms, right? So this is the, the first churn hitch curvature, and this is the, the first Levici Vita uh, hitch curvature, right? These two notions of curvatures are related by this, right? So uh, here you can think uh, uh, the, the, the definition essentially what I'm doing here is uh, from the, the connection which we have on the Lamarck uh, tangent bundle, we have a connection on the anti-canonical bundle. Uh, and essentially these two uh, notions of Hitch curvature are defined by taking the trace or is the curvature of the inducted connection on the anti-canonical bundle, right? Uh, in fact, here I'm just taking the one-one part of the trace, right? The, the first Levici-Vita Hitch curvature is just the one-one part of the, the curvature 
associated to the inducid connection on the, on the anti-canonical bundle, right? So here uh, I will uh, use this notation for the, the first chern hitch curvature and this notation for the first Levitivita hitch curvature. And the important result in this first part is this uh, theorem, which gives us uh, a nice expression for the, the first Levitivita hitch curvature, which relates uh, uh, which is related to the the first chern hitch curvature. So this expression will be important for us. We spend a lot, a lot of time working on this expression. Um, so here, from we can also prove this uh, fact, uh, which we have on compact manifolds, right? We can also uh, compute the other components of the of this one, one one form, I'm sorry, for the of this two form in terms of the fundamental form which we have on remission manifolds, right? So we can compute the other components. Um, so now let me this uh, this result uh, also allows allows us to to give a a cohomological interpretation for this uh, for this curvature, which I'm going. I'm going to talk right now. So, uh, so here we have. A, in order to talk about the, the cohomology interpretation, I will introduce the notion, the, the cohomology group, uh, to be used to to understand what is the the cohomology interpretation. So, is the April the April cohomology group? So here I have included uh, a reference for more results related to cohomological uh, aspects in complex non cater geometry. So. You can uh, have you have more details in this reference. So, so here you have the definition. Of what is the the first April train class of a Hermitian manifold? So essentially, what you need to do to 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 obtain this notion of first train class is to we need to take a, a Hermitian structure on the anti-canonical bundle and take the, the the curvature associated to the connection defined by the Hermitian structure, right? So. Here we have the definition. So the it's similar to the case of the the first term class, right? And here in particular, if if the manifold is a Hermitian manifold, so we can show this: the first April term class can be represented by the first uh, chern hitch curvature up to a, a constant, right? And from this, we have the implication, which I have mentioned. At the beginning, so if the first turn class of the manifold vanishes, uh, the first April turn class also will vanish. So we have this relation, and the opposite implication is an open problem. So it would be interesting to know if uh, if is there any example which satisfies this implication. It's not known, and. So here, in the particular case that the manifold is a compact Hermitian manifold, from the, the previous theorem, we can prove this, right? We will obtain this, right? We obtain that the first April chern class can be represented up to a uh, uh, scalar by the, the first chern hitch curvature. So uh, once we have this problem, uh, in the talk, uh, I will focus on on, manif on complex uh, manifolds for which the first chern class vanishes, right? So, because of this uh, open problem. Okay, so uh, so in this talk, a Calabrian manifold uh, is a complex manifold with a vanishing first chern class, right? And uh, here we have some uh, some known results, right, about the construction of uh, Levitch Vita Hitch flat Hermitian matrix. In the particular case that the manifold is a compact Calabial manifold, so we can construct a non cater structure, a non cater Hermitian structure, which is uh, Levitch Vita Hitch flat. So from this, we have some examples here, right? Uh, given by a compact Calabial surface. And here uh, is the reference when you can find the details about this construction. So in general, uh, it's difficult. It's particularly challenging to to solve the, this equation because uh, the associated PD problem uh, for, 
is, uh, is, is complicated, right? So uh, in the right-hand side of this expression, we have no elliptic term. So this equation is, is not a, a motion pair equation. So it's uh, th that's the, the main problem. And so for the non-killer Calabial, the, the known examples are the hop surface of class one and hop manifolds as I mentioned at the beginning, right? So here we have the reference for this result. And so the, the aim is to generalize the construction which we have for Hopf manifolds to uh, compact Hermitian via Weinstein manifolds. And uh, the idea is to generalize the, the, the construction which is known for Hopf manifolds to this class of manifolds. So every Hopf manifold is a particular uh, example of uh, compact emission by Weinstein manifold. Okay, now uh, I will uh, discuss a little bit about the the expression of the first Levitchev Hitch curvature on LCK manifolds on locally conformal Kähler manifolds. And to do that, I need to 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 introduce the notion of Lie form and torsional form. I'll just uh, discuss. Uh, um, uh, quickly about this, right? Okay, so here, uh, in order to to define the leaf form and the torsion one form, so let's recall. So we, we are working with uh, a Hermitian manifold of complex dimension n. I will denote by capital L the the left shacks operator, and by capital lambda it's dual. So it's uh, it's a classical result. We have this decomposition for the the derivative of the, the fundamental form. So here uh, is the primitive part of the, in the decomposition, right? So uh, if we consider the, the torsion associated to the churn connection, we have uh, we can define this one form by taking the trace of the, the, the torsion, right? So it's related to the capital lambda applied in the derivative of the fundamental to form. From this, we have the definition so the definition of the, the Leeuwen form of a Hermitian manifold, uh, the, the Leeuwen form is, is given by this one form, right? And the torsion one form is given by this tau one form. And these two one forms are, are related by, in, by these relations. So if you take the decomposition of the Lie form, the components of the decomposition are uh, some uh, multiple of the, the, the Lie form, right? Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, the, the the first uh, element in the composition is the multiple of the torsion one form, right? And the second one is the you you take the uh, other multiple. Uh, so uh, so here in the particular case when the manifold is compact, we have this relation between the torsion and uh, this operator applied in the the, the, sec, the in the fundamental to form, right? And this is important because uh, we can now uh, write the expression of the first uh, churn, uh, the first Levitch Vita H curvature using the torsion. So we have this expression. And we can uh, improve, in some sense, this expression if we, uh, uh, if, if the manifold is locally conformal cater. So this definition of uh, what, what uh, locally conformal cater manifold is. So uh, a local is a Hermitian manifold for which the we have the vanish of this uh, differential forms, right? And from this we can uh, so since we are uh, uh, in this talk we we are concerned about uh, non kähler manifold, so uh, we will suppose that the the, the leaf form is not exact, right? So uh, in this case. It, if the the leaf form is closed, right? From this decomposition, we can show uh, the vanish of the of this differential forms, right? And from this, uh, we can uh, write the the derivative of J applied in the leaf form in this way, and we can replace this in the the, the previous previous expression, and what we obtain in this uh, description, right? And in particular, uh, we conclude so if the if our manifold is a compact locally conformal cater, we have the the vanish of the 
choose little part of the trace of the curvature associated to the the nabla head connection right and here in particular we we have we conclude that the the first levici vita hitch curvature is in fact uh the full uh trace right so the trace is just has just one one part right and so now what we're gonna do is to 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 work with this this uh this uh description right because this guy is not good for our proposal we will replace this for a suitable differential form basically it's this uh, lemma so if you have a, a compact lck manifold then we can uh express the first levici vita hitch curvature in this way right and now this uh upsilon form uh, represents up to scale the first trend class of the manifold let me give the the proof of this result because the the step in the proof the steps in the proof are important so so since we have for a lck manifold this, these two conditions so we can take open cover of the manifold so we can express locally the leaf form in terms of uh, local potential right so using this potential we can construct in each open set of the cover a Kähler matrix so we have a local Kähler matrix and in particular if you you can comp we compute the the first chain hitch curvature uh, locally we have this uh, equation right and from this we conclude that the first chain hitch curvature is related with this uh, local form uh, upsilon and here we have an extra term so since this guy is globally defined and this guy, this guy is globally defined this uh, upsilon is not uh, does not depend on the the open set right so we have in fact a globally defined uh, differential form and this from this we conclude uh, what was stated here right and so uh in particular here if the the so in, in the computation uh, uh as we can see uh, right here we have the the expression of the hitch curvature associated to the local uh, killer metric right so if the the local if the all uh, local killer metrics are killer hit flat it implies that the the upsilon a differential form vanishes and since it represents the first trend class of the manifold we have these implications right uh, as we shall see uh, later uh, this fact uh, holds in, in, in the particular case of uh, compact hermitian via Einstein manifolds right okay so now let me discuss a little bit what happens when the manifold is a compact hermitian via Einstein manifold uh, so in order to do that, I need to introduce what, what uh, a Hermitian vial manifold is. Uh, so uh, here we have the definition, so, uh, definition of the vial manifold. So a vial manifold is a conformal manifold uh, with a torsion, torsion free connection, which preserves the conformal class. So we have this uh, relation for each element in the conformal class and this one form which we, which we can associate it to the to each element uh, it's called the higgs field right and so here you have the definition so uh a vial manifold is a hermitian vial ma manifold if it admits a almost complex structure for which uh which is uh, orthogonal with respect to the each element in the conformal class and is parallel with with respect to the, the torsion free. so this connection is called the via connection so it's uh, preserved by the via connection so since the the via connection is uh, torsion free the this condition implies that the almost complex structure is in fact integrable so it's in fact a complex structure so every Hermitian vial manifold is a complex manifold. It's in fact a Hermitian manifold for each element in the conformal class, right? And here we have an important result. So uh, giving a compact Hermitian vial manifold, so 
uh, inside of the conformal class, we have uh, a distinguished element, which is called the Gaudian gauge. So it's a, a Hermitian metric for which the Higgs field is uh, G-not closed. So it's closed with respect to the hot star operator induced by uh, the metric G-not, right? Uh, so here we have the, re the reference for this result and other results related to the, the vial Einstein manifolds. So now in order to, to, to for us, it will be important to, to consider manifolds for which we know what uh, the Gaudian gauge is, right? So let me give a, a receipt to, to obtain Hermitian vial manifolds. Uh, with a prescribed Gaudian gauge. So, if we start with a uh, uh, LCK manifold, we can uh, construct a, a, a fine connection, uh, which is in fact a vial connection when we consider the, the conformal class of the LCK of the the LCK metric, which we have started with. So we have uh, starting with a LCK manifold, we can construct a Hermitian vial manifold by thinking uh, as the vial connection, the connection defined this way, right? For this uh, Hermitian vial manifold, the Higgs field coincides with the, the leaf form, right? And so here you have a definition of a special class of LCK manifolds. So uh, LCK manifolds Vaisma, if uh, the, the leaf form is preserved by the, the the Levitch Vita connection. So we have some uh, uh, some uh, facts about the about Weismann manifolds, which will be important to consider. So if you have uh, a Weismann manifold, so the leaf vector field associated to the leaf form is a killing vector field. So we have this uh, equation, and from this uh, we can, uh, if we suppose that the leaf form uh, has length one, we can uh, write the this, the fundamental to form this way, right? In terms basically of the almost complex structure and the leaf form. We have this description in the particular case of Weismann manifolds. So here in particular, uh, we, this term in, the, in, the, in this description is a semi-positive one-on form, right? And so uh, now, if we if you if you have a Weismann uh, a Weismann manifold and we apply the the, the construction which I, I have described, uh, we obtain a Hermitian vial manifold and the Gaudian gauge inside of the conformal class of the of the associated LCK metric is exactly the metric uh, which we have started. And so, in this way, if you have a Weismann manifold, we, we can construct a Hermitian uh, vial uh, structure for which we know uh, uh, who, uh, what is the Gadu, which is the Gaudian gauge, right? Uh, so here we have some reference for this basic fact. So for us also, it will be important to consider uh, um, this construction essentially it tells us how to obtain uh, Vaisma manifolds from Sasaki manifolds from via Sasaki geometry. Here, so to construct, in order to construct, we need to, if we start with a Sasaki manifold, so it's a Riemannian manifold for which this metric is a, is a killer metric on, on the associated cone, right? So uh, in this case, if you do not buy uh, this calligraphic G, J, J, the associated complex structure on the cone, we can uh, describe the, the, the structure tensors of the Sasaki structure in, uh, defined on, on Q in this way, right? So now, given uh, a Sasaki automorphism in the positive real number, we consider this manifold, which is a quotient. Uh, so it, it, it also can be described in terms of, of uh, holomorphic action. So in fact, this manifold is a orbit space associated to some suitable holomorphic action defined on the cone. So we have this manifold given by this quotient and uh, by taking this conformal change on the metric on the cone, we have a Hermitian structure on the cone, which is globally 
conformal killer is not the the killer structure which i have denoted before right it's a hermitian structure and this are hermitian structure descends to a hermitian structure on this quotient manifold and the nice feature here is that the local expression of this hermitian metric uh, is essentially a conformal change of the 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 killer structure on the cone right locally we have this relation and from this uh, this uh, we, we can show that this manifold is in fact a lck manifold we conclude this right this is a lck manifold and the the associated leaf form can be described locally in this way right here uh i forgot to mention uh, phi is the coordinate on the the, the real line direction and we can also show that the, the leaf form is parallel with respect to the associated Vigivita connection. So, in fact, this manifold is a Vaisman manifold. And we shall refer to this uh, type Sorry, of manifold. Can, uh, can I just ask a question, just, just to make sure I understand? Yeah, yeah. So, so sigma really is uh, your, uh, it, it's an even dimensional manifold, right, which takes your Sakim, it takes a, a section of the Kaler cone over the Sakim manifold, right? It, it just say, yes. it takes a, a truncation of this cone. Is that mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's then, you glue, right. The, then you glue the beginning to the end of this section. Is that what it's doing? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, that's right. Okay, and then you, you, do a conformal, you do a conformal change on the actual cone and see how this descends to your quotient manifold. And that the effect of that, uh, you're saying is, um, yeah, so what, what's the effect of that? Does this also give a conformal change on sigma? Is that, is that what it does? Uh... No, I need to do the, I need to do this conformal change for this, uh, for this uh, Hermitian structure to be well defined on the quotient, right? Oh, I see. Okay, right. So, okay. So you need to conformally change to even be able to define a Hermitian structure on the quotient. Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Now it's clear. Thank you. Okay. Right. So th this construction also is known as the, the it's a mapping torus. If you think about algebraic topology, it's a mapping torus associated to the Sazaki automorphism, right? And so this type of manifolds uh, will be important because, as we shall see, uh, every compact Hermitian via Einstein manifold uh, up to isomorphism is, is described in this way, right? So uh, let me now introduce uh, the definition uh, what uh, a via Einstein manifold is, right? So in order to do that, let me just... Uh, uh, recall some identities involving the curvature of the bio uh, connection. So uh, we need this proposition. So this proposition in particular tells us that the Hitchy uh, curvature associated to the via connection is not symmetric, right? So uh, the skew symmetric, symmetric part is related to the, the covariant derivative of the, the associated Higgs field. And so here we have the definition uh, of uh, what uh, a vial manifold is, right? So a vial manifold is a conformal manifold, I'm sorry, a vial Einstein manifold is a, a conformal manifold for which the, the Hitch uh, curvature of the vial connection uh, satisfies this property, right? It is equal to the scalar curvature times the, the metric and minus this term here, which is essentially the skew symmetric part, right? Uh, so here, these, result, these two theorems uh, are important for us in the talk, right? Because they uh, essentially uh, reduce the this, they they uh, reduce the study of uh, compact Hermitian vial manifolds, uh, compact uh, Hermitian uh, vial Einstein manifolds to the the manifolds as uh, I described in the example, right? So the first result is. Uh, tells us that if we start with uh, a compact Hermitian via Einstein manifold, uh, then uh, the heat tensor of, of the via connection vanishes identically, and the uh, 
the leaf form right associated to the the Gadushan gauge is parallel with respect to the associated the induced uh, Levitivita connection. So in particular, uh, this manifold uh, is a Vaisma manifold, right? And so here we can use this to show also that the in fact the first bet, bet number of uh, m is equal one, right? So and from this we have a, a very nice uh, structure theorem which essentially gives a, the, the, a description for all compact uh, Vaisma manifold. So here in particular, you have a compact Vaisma manifold. This result is much more general. Right? So the result, the result is, tells us that if, uh, if we start with a compact Vaisma manifold with a first bed, bed number equals one, so it is isomorphic as a Vaisma manifold to a quotient manifold as I have described in, in the example, right? And here, if if uh, the if the device manifold is in particular a Hermitian vial Einstein manifold, so the Sasaki manifold, which we, we obtain the construction, is a Sasaki Einstein manifold, right? And here we have the, the, the references for this these results, right? Um, so let me recall. Uh, an important result which we have in the setting of Sasaki manifold. So uh, this theorem uh, tells us that the Einstein condition on the Sasaki manifold implies uh, is equivalent uh, the, the Hitch flat condition on the Kater cone. So uh, if you have a Sasaki manifold which is a Sasaki Einstein manifold, so the cone will be a Hitch flat uh, Kater cone. So it's a Calabial cone, right? And now uh, let's see what happens uh, if uh, we com if we compute uh, the the, Levi the first Levitivita Hitch curvature for uh, a quotient manifold obtained from a uh, Sasaki Einstein manifold. So here is the, uh, we'll put all the, the steps here. So uh, so if we start with a Calabial cone over a compact Sasaki manifold, and if we take a, a Sasaki automorphism and a positive real number and construct uh, a Vaisma manifold as I, I have constructed constructed in the example. So uh, in this particular case, the local uh, expression for the, the associated Hermitian structure will be conformal to a, a Kater Hitch flat metric, right? And if, if we compute the, so as we, we, we as we have seen, so the we have this description for uh, the the first Levitivita Hitch curvature on on LCK manifolds, right? We have this description. The upsilon form uh, essentially uh, gather together the the local information about the Hitch curvature of the local Kähler metric. So in this particular case, since the metric is Kähler Hitch flat, so it vanishes, right? And from this, we obtain this uh, expression for the, the first Levitivita Hitch curvature for this particular class of manifolds. Here we can also show this fact, right? So, in particular, from this, we can, from the fact that the upsilon form vanishes, we have that the first term class of this manifold uh, vanishes. So, it's a, a, a Calabian manifold. and it implies in particular that the first apertern class also vanish and vanish and uh, the first body number is equal one. So it's a non kater Calabian manifold, right? Uh, so now uh, once we have all these results in hand, we can uh, prove the main, main theorem. So before, in order to do that, let me just recall uh, what we did. So in the first part we have, uh, so the, the the description for the the first Levitivita Hitch curvature for compact Hermitian manifolds, and then uh, we have computed the first Levitivita Hitch curvature in the particular class of LCK manifolds, and we have this expression, right? And the upsilon form uh, represents the first term class of two scale. So, uh, in the particular case of Vaisma manifolds, uh, this fa these two facts. Uh, are important for us, right? We have this description because every compact Weizmann manifold is LCK, and 
in particular, uh, since uh, from the, the, the par parallelism of the leaf form, we have this description for the fundamental two form, right? And uh, also in the, in the case that the compact Hermitian, uh, we, ha we have a compact Hermitian via Einstein manifold, uh, as we have seen, uh, it's a Vaisma, it is a Vaisma manifold, and we have the vanish of the Upsilon form because uh, it is a quotient of uh, uh, Calabell cone, right? And we have a computed the the first Levitivita Hitch curvature for this particular class, and we have this, and we have this. So now uh, we can see from this that we can, uh, in fact, perturb this uh, Hermitian structure using the first, the associated first Levitivita Hitch curvature. That that's exactly what uh, was done for uh, the particular. Uh, in the particular case of uh, Hopf manifolds, right? And so here, here I, I state again the, the main theorem. So let me give uh, steps of the proof. So in this particular case, so we have a compact Sasaki Einstein manifold, uh, uh, a Sasaki automorphism, a positive real number, and we take the suspension associated to this uh, data and from this, we can construct on this suspension a Levitivita Hitch flat metric. So the proof goes this way. So here we have a compact Vaisma manifold uh, obtained from a Calabial cone, right? And if you take lambda greater than minus one, we can define uh, a Hermitian structure in this way, right? We perturb the, the Hermitian structure by its own. Uh, first Levitivita Hitch curvature, so we have this. So once the manifold is Vaisma, we have this description for the fundamental true form. So essentially the, the fundamental true form, om, capital Omega Lambda, is given by this, right? And now what I need to do is just to compute the, the elements involved in, in, in the description of the Vaisma structure, of the, I'm sorry, now what I need to do what I need to do is to compute the expression of the first Levitivita curvature of this perturbed metric. So here we have some identities, but the, the, the important identities here uh, are these uh, two identities. So the, the first one is this relation. So we can compute the first churn hitch curvature of this uh, omega lambda form, right? And we obtain this, right? And we can compute now uh, this term, which appears in the, the expression of the first Levitivita Hitch curvature, this term here. So here, to, to compute this, you need to consider the hot star operator induced by this metric, right? And so from this, we obtain this expression. And now we can combine them, and we obtain this, right? And so now to solve the, the, the heat flat equation is uh, it's just, uh, we, we just need to, to solve this quite simple equation, right? So if you take lambda equals to uh, minus one over n, so we obtain uh, the desired equation, right? And so uh, here uh, I include a remark because the the Levitivita Hitch flat structure, which we obtain from this theorem, they uh, they are not unique, right? Uh, we can uh, you can we can construct a, a, a one-parameter family if we follow these steps, right? Here we, we just uh, we can just multiply the 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 starting Hermitian structure by a positive real number, and then I can perform the same perturbation as I did in the proof, right? From this, uh, uh, from this relation here, and we obtain a one-parameter family of uh, Levitivita H flat uh, structures, right? And from this, uh, once we have a structure theorem for compact Hermitian via Einstein manifolds, we can uh, Construct in every uh, compact Hermitian via Einstein manifold a uh, Levitivita Hitch flat metric. In fact, in fact, a one-parameter family of metrics. 
And so we can, uh, as we have seen, to construct uh, this type of Levitch VP85 metrics, what we need is, uh, uh, so the, the basic data is a Sasaki manifold, a Sasaki automorphism, a positive real number. And from this, we can construct uh, the, the Levitch VP85 metric. So once we know how to describe the, for example, uh, if you, if you know how to describe the Sasaki structure, we can describe explicitly the, the associated levitsch vita hitch flat metric, which we have in the quotient manifold, right? And here, if, if we, uh, in this paper here, I, I describe it, the Weizmann structures on principal elliptic bundles over compact homogeneous LCK manifolds. So from, from this, the results of this paper, we can uh, construct explicitly uh, uh, several examples, right? And uh, so I will also uh, give more examples. So, so it's an application of the, the, the main theorem. So if we have a, a, a link of isolated singularity in this way, right? So we can equip this guy with... Uh, a Sasaki Einstein structure, if we, we have this condition on the string of uh, integer numbers, integer numbers here, right? If we have this condition, we can equip the link with uh, a Sasaki Einstein, Einstein structure. So we can apply the theorem for this type of manifold. And so this corollary gives a, a receipt to obtain a, examples of levitsch vita hitch flat manifolds out of the, the homogeneous setting, right? And in particular, we can also obtain uh, examples uh, on uh, exotic spheres, right? Because uh, if you take an odd dimensional uh, homotopy sphere, uh, which bounds a parallelizable manifold, uh, we can equip this guy with uh, uh, a Sasaki Einstein structure, and then we can apply the theorem for this type of manifold. So this type of manifolds uh, are known as generalized Hopf manifolds, right? And here I have included some reference about the existence of Sasaki Einstein structures on uh, exotic spheres, right? So I think I will stop now. So thank you. OK, let's uh, thank Edda. We, uh, we've still got five minutes for questions, if people have some questions, maybe. Yes. Uh, I would like to add something that is maybe a little stupid, but the the hot manifolds, the usual one, S1 times the sphere or dimensional sphere, they are Hermitian by Einstein. Yes, 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 because because the the uh, exotic sphere is a Sasaki Einstein manifold. Right? Okay, we can we'll show you can use that. Yeah. Okay, and another thing that maybe is also kind of stupid, but. Uh, if um, if you have a Hermitian metric which is Levi Chivita Richie flat, mm -hmm. uh, does it imply that the metric G is Richie flat with the usual Richie curvature? Mm, no, no, no. No. Okay. Oh no. Because uh, in fact, we have an open problem about uh, examples of. Uh, Levitsch Vita Hitch flat manifolds, yeah. which are Einstein manifolds. I think it's uh, not known in like, any example. Okay, okay, okay. So the, the name is a bit confusing, maybe, but. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, okay, I see. Okay, thank uh, you. Me, uh, okay. Any other questions? Or if not, if not, I have a question, actually. Can we have a look at your, one of your last slides when you give the Briscoe and Fun Sphere example? Okay. 
Yeah, that one. Um, so Spurs are Spurs are take something like n equals four, right? Or, okay. or, or in fact, it, yeah, or n, even n equals three, right? So, so I'm trying to relate this condition for uh, the even dimensional manifolds to to product of the circle, right? To admit your your special metric. With uh, the link being transversely calabial, so you're going one direction, one dimension up, and studying the existence of this special Hermitian metric. I'm I'm going one dimension down, seeing mm -hmm. as uh, you know, L A is a, is itself a circle vibration, right? Yes, it's a circle vibration over a Kitter orb fold, right? In principle. But if you choose your weights A0 to AM um, mm -hmm. correctly, then mm -hmm. you could argue that it has transverse holonomy as you went, for instance. Okay, 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 okay. And then your product with a circle is in fact a T2 vibration over this sort of, in principle, Calabria or before. Okay, okay. Uh, now, the existence of your uh, special type of emission metrics is determined by a, a certain condition on the coefficients. Yeah, um, yeah. The existence of a transverse Calabial structure is, is governed by essentially, uh, you know, a similar formula. Um, it, okay. Yeah. Or you know, I think it essentially means that some, some, some the transverse notion of chain class for the Sasaki manifold vanishes i think yeah. i think it would be interesting interesting to relate these two geometries right you have a circle yeah, yeah. vibration if you look at one dimension down there's a there's a there's a in principle a killer orbifold there on which you can mm -hmm. ask for special metrics and whatnot if you go one dimension up just by taking the product of the circle then you get your your interesting special metrics and measure up. Well, then, how are these two uh, different uh, regimes related, right? They, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's. I think I think it would be a question we we could discuss, but uh. uh yeah. So uh, but seems like, let, let me just ask a question. To yeah. You. So uh, the Calabria structure on the manifold, which your mention is uh, is related to some uh, curvature of the circle bundle. Well, yes, it is, but I, I don't want to make it special about being Calabria. All, all I want to say is that you could go one di one dimension down mm -hmm. in a prescribed mm -hmm. way, you could, just as you can go one dimension up, mm -hmm. and asking for a special metrics uh, uh, for special metrics one dimension up. Okay. Should not be completely disjoint from uh, the, the okay, 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 what okay, is happening yeah, yeah. on the mission down. I just okay. mentioned it could be Calabiao as, as one example, right? Yeah, just mm -hmm. take mm -hmm. just take YA to be given by the Fermat, you know, uh, a polynomial in, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, <coughs> I got, yeah. yeah. just mm -hmm. take a homogeneous polynomial and then uh, it, it, it so that it's Calabiao, right? It's projecting, mm -hmm. you get a Calabiao. Uh, 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 right, uh, all before down the, downstairs, your intersection, your link of, uh, with, with something with an isolated singularity, right? Your link is going to be a circle vibration. Mm -hmm. uh, the total space of which is smooth, even though the base is singular. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you could cross with S1 and go up, or you could, in a sense, collapse the S1 and go down. These two these two worlds have to talk to each other somehow, and you, you're solving a non-trivial PGE upstairs. I'm wondering yeah. what does it tell you about the geometry downstairs, right? Can yeah, you do the mention of reduction after this, for instance? Yeah, yeah, it's a nice point, yeah, yeah. Right? So I, yeah. I think there are a number of interesting questions which are just around the corner from where you're standing right now. And I mean, yeah. this is interesting stuff. Why not try and mm -hmm. address these questions later? Okay, but yeah, yeah. suggestion really, it's not really a question, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, we can talk about this more. Yeah, this, I mean. yeah, yeah. But good Thank stuff. You. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And there's, there's folks in, in Argentina, in the Cordoba group, uh, are, are thinking a lot about Weissman stuff, right? So I think uh, maybe they are also going to be pleased with, uh, mm -hmm. pleased with 
with with these promises. Yeah. Yes, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, any, any more questions or comments? Well, if not, then uh, let us thank uh, Eder again, please. And as usual, I should remind you, you can join our mailing list or WhatsApp group uh, following the instructions on the chat.